Hey guys, today I'm going to do a live reaction for Naruto Shippuden, episode 479, and I believe this is either the second to last, or most likely it's going to be the last actual kin episode of Naruto uh, Shippuden, or Naruto in general. Um, it, um, the, th the reason why I say this is either the second to last, or actually the last, is because I have a feeling more this is going to be like... It, they might combine the two chapters together, but I feel feel like this is going to be more about the chapter where uh, they they conclude all of what of what is happening in uh, Shippuden, and then the next episode, or they might do it at the end of this episode. They're going to do the last chapter of Naruto, which was kind of an epilogue and all that stuff. So it's either going to be this at the end of this episode, or it's going to be the next episode. If it's going to be the next episode, then this episode is going to have like a lot of filler in between that wasn't in the manga, which is really really interesting. Interesting. Sorry guys. Um, uh, because, like, I want to see, like, more of what happened, like, in between the lines. Because in the manga, it was kind of, like, kind of rushed. Like, if you can say, like, they kind of, like, skipped over stuff, like, in the second to last, um, chapter. Like, we didn't know what happened with this after this, or who, what happened with this person after that until the epilogue chapter. But the epilogue chapter was a huge time skip, so, <laughs> I'm also not going to spoil it for those of you who have not seen, if it, if it is in this episode or not. Um, I, I'm not going to spoil it, but also if it is in this episode and you have not seen the, 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 uh, episode yet, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys also. Um, if you haven't seen the episode, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so you guys can watch it on your own. Also, so you can open up, uh, in a separate tab because I do remove the audios. Also, speaking of that, because I removed the audio since copyright reasons, I actually got a copyright strike on my Yuri on Ice, even though I do remove the audio. So I, there still is... <laughs> there it is. There's proof enough that I still can get copyrighted or a copyright. I, I can still get a copyright strike even though I removed the audio. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to gonna edit the video somehow so it's so it's like less of a chance so I can get a copyright strike. I'm going to make like, like I'm going to add like, it's something I used to do in my older videos. I'm going to add like a picture on each corner and then I'm going to like change the image a little bit. So it might be difficult for you guys to see. But I have to do that so that we don't get a copyright strike again, because if we get three, then the channel gets closed down, and that's just bad. But I don't want to remove the video entirely, because if I remove the video entirely, then it's kind of misplaced. You guys don't know what's going on and all this stuff. But if I get another one, then I'm definitely going to have to remove the uh, the video from the live reaction, because <laughs> like a second time then after that... The third time, there's no more chances, so I don't want to risk losing the channel. And if I we lo if we lose the channel, then I don't know how hard it is to get the channel back up or anything like that. So I don't want to risk it at all because I from what I've heard is it's very difficult to get the channel back up after you get it closed down. So I don't know. I also have um, my old channel, so you guys can subscribe to my old channel, which is DBZ Cuban, just DBZ Cuban. In case this channel actually does get closed down, just subscribe there. Just in case, or just look it up if the channel does get canceled or closed down, which I hope that it doesn't. And I'm gonna stop wasting you guys' time because I already wasted enough time with all this blabbering, all this stuff, and let's just dive in with the last chapter of Naruto. Or not chapter, freaking episode. Sorry, guys. I had a lot to say. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe the trip's almost over. Mm, 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 mm. Last time we left off with um with the whole conclusion of the fight with them seeing uh, well with Sasuke seeing the memories of Naruto and then uh seeing all the bonds that Naruto has gone through and all that stuff and him kind of regretting the path that he chose I guess I mean like if it just depends it, it wasn't like it wasn't stated it's more like you have to infer it I mean. Each person has their own inference of what was going through Sasuke's mind there. But my opinion is, like, what was going through there, he saw what Naruto went through and all that stuff. He kind of, like, un he, he felt, I felt, I feel like he did feel kind of regret of the path that he chose. And he feels like if he would have taken a different path, that it, it would have been similar to Naruto. Because in the manga, I believe it was more, more about, like, well, their, their positions could have been vice versa. In the manga, I believe that's how they showed the fight. But in this, it showed more like Sasuke regretting it. I don't know. It's difficult to explain it. I, I haven't read the manga in a while, so don't quote me on that too. Uh, but it like it, the way it showed the previous episode, it's more about like Sasuke regretting what he did. Mm 
wow, they jumped right into it. <laughs> like, no, like, any, like flashback, no, no nothing, no previous episode, no nothing. They just jumped into the episode. Kakashi's like, I knew they were going to be here. Yeah, they're losing a lot of blood. Excuse me. Yo, she's technically healing them one-handed. Like, she has one hand on Naruto and then the other on Sasuke. So that's pretty badass, though. There's a lot of people that hate on Sakura, but she is actually useful. To me... Okay. Did Sasuke say sorry? Aww. You know... <laughs> Damn it. Shanara! <laughs> My god, I'm gonna cry. I am straight up gonna cry. It took a while to get to this point again. But we're finally back. Wow. I can't imagine he's finally back. <laughs> Kakashi put his, um... He put the... the I guess you could say eye patch, but he put his headband on his eye because he 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 finally was like it's all over now. That that's what it was signifying. Hinata. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of... I can't imagine what's going through their mind right now from waking up some, from such a beautiful dream. Like, they're like, oh, come on, man. I wanted to stay in there. <laughs> oh, no. Yo. Shut all the hidden villages. Tsunade! Yo, the Raikage. Guy Sensei, bro! <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. Yo, Orochimaru still like Kabito? Yo, what about Yamato? Okay, are we actually gonna find out what happened to Yamato, though? Okay! <laughs> Like, what the fuck happened to Yamato? Is he dead? Is he still alive? We still don't know. <laughs> like, I don't think they even went through it to, uh, through, uh, Naruto Gaiden. The whole, uh, like, chapters about, uh, Salada. Which I'm not gonna spoil who Salada is. There he is! There's Yamato! So we did get the answer of where ja Yamato was. Interesting. I don't remember if that was in the manga or not. Who was it? There's the other half of uh, Nine Tails. I will start to feel your pain and your emotions. You never cut me off. You always kept me in your thoughts. Is he gonna unseal him? Oh, it was only that those two. I thought he was gonna unseal the the freaking uh, Nine Tail Brothers. <laughs> Oh, now they're mourning the dead. Tch. 
Rest in peace. I can't believe those two died. Like, come on, man. You always called me if your friend. Neji. Rest in peace, Neji. Why did Neji have to die? For real. Like, it really... I mean, yes, it did do something. It wasn't like a meaningless death. Like, it wasn't... It's just like, come on. Like, you, the, the anime would have been nice with him still alive, too. Oh, they want to see... So now they're popular. Oh, wait. Wasn't that the one girl? Oh, wait. They have some filler char characters on here. That was the one girl from the filler episode. I forgot what was her name. Kakashi. So Kakashi's finally Hokage. Wow. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> So what's Sanaiti's gonna do for now? Hook up with Orochimaru, maybe? <laughs> oh wait, are they gonna have the new Raikage and the Mizukage and all of them? I don't know if at this point did they replace those Kages yet, or... No, I, I think they're still the same old Kages. Killer B! Yeah, it's the same old uh, Raikage. That's what I thought. Yeah, he hasn't been replaced just yet. To get carried away. God, oh man. Does he have the one tail now? I don't remember. You know, their story is actually, you saved me yet again. Their story is actually pretty sweet. I don't know. <laughs> you know, technically Naruto could take those that DNA cuz their their chakra is very similar, right? <laughs> yeah, he's rapping about Naruto's hand. <laughs> That's hilarious. He just made up the most bullshit rap ever. It's hilarious. He never changes. I really miss Killer B. It's been a while since we had like a little peaceful time to actually enjoy. Oh, there's that one dude who was in the tuning exams. Oh, Sasuke's in jail. His eyes are sealed away. Then again, I can't- Aw, oh, man, Guy Sensei. Yo, this is what I like, that that they're adding little filler bits like this, because we were completely lost. He never changes, even though he's a handicap, he still is the same old Guy Sensei. <laughs> Yo, look at that gift bag. 
Yo, I'm kind of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> he has to keep his promise. Oh, his two senseis. More like Hokage now. Yeah, that is true. Oh, did he not know? Wow. Then again, can Naruto read? <laughs> no offense, Naruto, no offense. You never got to take the tuning exams, right? Yo, the whole cocky can do that? He just goes straight to Jonin. Fuck tuning. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Kakashi doesn't have that power. I didn't think so. I was about to say because it's like, oh, he has to take a test. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, this wasn't in the manga. It's just saying so. We did not understand how could Naruto had become the Hokage if he still hadn't even become a fucking uh, tuning. No, ch no, no shortcut to becoming Hokage. That was a quote by Naruto. It's second to none. Yo, okay, the anime just, like, fucking, like, pulled a good one. They're making sense of stuff that didn't make sense, and they're adding a lot of character development and stuff like that. See, this is what I was hoping this episode was going to be about. The History of Shinobi Volume 1. I mean, he knows his history. He fucking lived through it. Kaguya, Hargoromo, he lived through all the bullshit, so. He get to meet those people, so. Oh, this thing's what? You know, it's really hard to find an anime that replaces this. And it's sad to think about that because this anime is about to end. That day. Oh, yeah. The first episode. He was the only one that actually had... Like, gave Naruto a second look. The only one that gave Naruto, like, trust. Even though that Naruto... He blamed... He kind of, like, before he used to blame Naruto for killing his parents. Change me. If it wasn't for Aruka Sensei to having faith in Naruto, you know, maybe Naruto probably would have walked the same path as Sasuke. So if it wasn't for Aruka Sensei having that faith that night, Naruto might have been walking the same path as as other people. As shown in uh what was that Ro Road to Ninja? I believe it was. The one where you had like the the other like it was like a parallel universe and stuff like that. Kakashi's gonna talk down to. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't 
don't know what Sasuke. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, you kept the mask though. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he let uh, Sasuke out. Very true. If it wasn't for all of those points, he would have still been in prison. I think the most important one was Kakashi becoming the Six Hokage. To understand my feelings. He, okay, this is like a minor spoiler, but I, I I don't think it's like that important of a spoiler that I could spoil. He eventually does come back and he actually does get his arm in the Naruto Gaiden uh, manga. He did get his arm replaced. But in the, in like Boruto the movie, I think he, he was missing an arm still around there. Yeah. I'll go with you. Oh, he, she still likes it. <laughs> Yes, they do, though. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Yo, the OST. Maybe next time. Thank you. He just pulled an Itachi on Sakura. <laughs> Yo, aren't you going to say goodbye to your best friend, though? Come on. That is nostalgic as hell. The fucking OSC and everything. And just Sasuke just walking onto a new adventure. Come see me off. Of course he would have. Is it? Is it that? Is it? Is it that? You kept that thing? You sacrificed your arm to stop me. Thanks to you, I found salvation. Sorry guys, my mom was knocking on the door. Uh, she wanted to give me some prime soil because we were in a prime soil. That this sharing of pain can perhaps be applied to something much bigger than just us. But I can't do things like you. Something is the harder. I'll hang on to it. Until our real match. No matter what. Just endure. To be a ninja. I think this will be the end of the episode then. Okay, so yeah, there's going to be a next episode that is the epilogue. And then, yeah, okay. So yeah, the epilogue episode is going to be next. And then after that, there's going to be the uh, more filler. I'm guessing that's what's probably going to happen. Uh, but yeah, man, that was pretty deep. Actually, you know one thing though? Um, I've noticed that it's more revolving around Sasuke than I think the manga did. Because it's more like... Sasuke's narration and everything and it's it's like his point of view of everything like and that's actually pretty pretty cool I, I said pretty pretty cool <laughs> shit but um oh Jiraiya oh I don't I don't think I actually noticed that before Obito because <clears throat> I'm usually talking during the fucking ending or I skip it normally but um it's, it's like, it, it started with Naruto's point of view, and then ended with Sasuke's point of view. That's pretty cool. Or pretty, pretty cool, as I said. <laughs> but really, it really has been an adventure. I can't believe uh, next week is going to be, like, the actual ending. Like, 
that's going to be the final episode other than the filler part. But I am going to do live reactions to the filler because obviously it's still Naruto. I'm still going to cling on to this the most I can because it's, it's been such a large part of my life. Like, and like probably same to you, most of you guys because like, wow, we've been watching this little, me personally. Long ago there was a Fox Spirits. Yo, is this going to be the epilogue? Because this is how the epilogue started. And it has the third Hokage's voice, man. Rest in peace, third Hokage. He was a savage. He was a bad ass. <laughs> the Legend of Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki. Oh my god! Is that Neji? Oh, rest in peace, Neji! Naruto and Hinata. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> but it looks like we're going to get another flashback. Which is what a lot of you complain about. Because we get enough flashbacks from fucking Naruto as it can be. But I'm guessing what they're going to do is that they're going to make like a whole ep They're going to dedicate a whole episode to Naruto and Hinata. For reasons that I am going to spoil spoil in a second, in, in case you guys don't want to be spoiled, I'll, I'll let you guys know with how about uh, how about I'll do like the peace gesture. That's what I'll do when I'm done with the spoiler. So moi, uh, mute the freaking video just for like a little second if you guys don't want to be spoiled. And then when, when whenever you see this, just the peace sign, um, that's when you know I'm, I'm done with the spoiler. Okay, I'm gonna count down three. Two, one. Naruto and Hinata hook up. <laughs> that was one of the main major spoilers. So Naruto and Hinata uh, hook up. So that's why um, they're gonna do a whole episode dedicated about that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the spoiler and make the other people be able to return. So hey guys, um, <laughs> we weren't talking about anything important. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, the next episode is gonna be pretty pretty cool. As I always say, pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> it's going to be cool. Um, I, I, I'm I really interested to see what they're going to do. Um, maybe it's... It, I feel like it's going to be like something we haven't seen before. Because it looked like it's it's something we never seen before. Um, unless it's going to be another flashback about how Hinata and Naruto started to like, met each other and fell in love. And now Naruto saved Hinata. It, 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 and then it's going to be like... You know how the Itachi's flashbacks... Every time we would get an Itachi flashback, they would always add something to it. I'm guessing this is... It's either going to go that route, where it's going to be like... Where how Naruto and Hinata met each other and how they... How she fell in love with him and all that stuff. I'm guessing it's either going to be that, and then they're going to add more stuff like the whole Neji stuff. And then they're going to add the whole third Hokage stuff. Or this is going to be like a whole new... Like, it's 100% new. Which is interesting. I'm guessing then... If this is going to be filler, then I'm guessing either... This episode's gonna be filler, and then there's gonna be like a whole filler arc about this, maybe, or it's just gonna be one episode about filler, and then they're gonna do the epilogue episode. But more likely, I feel like they're gonna be like, I, I don't know, I don't know what route they might go. I feel like they're gonna do like a whole bunch of filler, and then eventually leading up to the epilogue, and then they'll do the epilogue, which is gonna be sweet, cause like I, I, it's just like so much was missing between that time skip that we we did not know about. So it's it's like they're gonna make like sense about like everything, which is gonna be sweet, and which I'm really really interesting, interested into seeing what they're gonna do and all this stuff, and what they're gonna add to the anime over what they did with the manga and all this stuff. Hopefully they do make sense of stuff and they answer some questions that we've been always wondering, like who did Lee hook up with, who did uh Ten Ten hook up with. Um, I I I. I, I it might be already confirmed, but I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to that in a while. Um, but I am. I, I think it might have been confirmed already. Um, like I want to find out about Choji and his wife. I'm not going to spoil who he marries, but I want to find out how did they fall in love with each other? Because that was an interesting couple that we did not expect. <laughs> 
<laughs> my god <laughs> yo okay i cannot wait to see what happens it just just thinking about it gives me goosebumps because i i'm really interested to see the kind of stories they make up with this filler and all that stuff um this is actually gonna be a filler that i'm gonna enjoy unlike the previous fillers that we've been getting <laughs> you guys already understand what i'm talking about i'm gonna end the video with that if you guys like my reaction please leave a like also subscribe check my channel in the description box below also, follow me on my social media where I keep guys updated in case anything happens. Like, if the channel does get taken down, I'll let you guys know on my Twitter or on my Facebook or on there. I'll let you guys know. I'll also leave a link to the uh, backup channel as well on there if it does get taken down. But hopefully, let's pray it doesn't. <laughs> also, I would like to know if you guys are interested in the filler, if you guys are going to watch the filler, are you guys excited for the filler like I am? I know it, it's like... Like, some people might not be, but other people might. Like, me personally, I am kind of excited for the filler because I want to see more Naruto. And I want to see more about, like, the time in between this episode and the epilogue. I want to see more, like, what happened in between there. Because I, 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 that would be really dope. I cannot wait to see if they actually do some stuff around the, that era. And I want to see, actually, Sasuke's travels. If you guys are really, really excited to see more Naruto, even though... Officially, the canon kind of has ended other than the epilogue, which was the, um, which was kind of the last bit of canon, but officially the canon has ended right here and there, um, and all the other stuff is kind of fillerish. I mean, the movies, I guess they're canon as well, like, you guys can watch the movies now. Um, one thing I do recommend that you guys should do, you should definitely read the guide in, uh, manga. It's really short manga, so you guys could probably, like, beat it one day, or read it all in one day. It's, it's, it really does go into detail about, like, some stuff. It, it happens after the Boruto movie, I think it is. It happens after the Boruto movie. So watch the movie about Naruto, the last film, which is the whole movie. I actually don't want to spoil it. So it's, 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 like, you guys might like it. It's very action-packed, and it does show Sasuke in it, like, for, like, one little scene. But... Uh, it's mostly revolved around Naruto and, like, the, uh, like, the Hyuga clan and all that stuff. It's all around that. It's, like, Naruto, the Hyuga clan, and about Hinata. That's what it's revolving around, so it's kind of similar to what next episode's gonna be. Also, I do recommend watching the Boruto movie, which was fucking phenomenal. You should definitely watch that. That shit was badass. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna spoil it for any of you guys who have not watched it, but, yeah, it, it really is worth watching. That one, for sure. Not so much Naruto the Last. I mean, like, yes, it's a good movie. It's, like, an in-between movie. It shows... It's entertaining. But the Boruto movie, yeah, that that's definitely... You should watch that. And then after that, do the Naruto Gaiden movie. Or Naruto Gaiden manga, which is really, really interesting. I like how they, they, they brought back some characters, which I'm not going to spoil as well, who they brought back. Some characters that have been shown in a while. I want to also... Also, now thinking about it, I also want to see more of Yamato. What the fuck is Yamato doing now? <laughs> I want to see a filler about Yamato. I know, like, a lot of you people, like, don't care about Yamato or don't want to see that. But I would love to see what the fuck Yamato does after the war. Because his whole entire purpose, the whole entire purpose of his character was to control Naruto. And then after that, they took, like, his character was now important because he had the first Hokage cells. But then now, they have the first Hokage cells, like, throughout all the white, uh, the white, uh, Zetsu cells and all that stuff. So, now he's kind of, like, not important. So, obviously, I see why they threw him away, because there's no reason for him. But, uh, I want to, he still was a pretty cool character. I still liked him. I want to see more about Sai, and I want to see, <laughs> man, Sai and whoever he hooked up with. I'm also not going to spoil that. Man, for real, Naruto's, like, a great fucking story. I really like the way they edited it in the manga, and I cannot wait to see how the anime is going to do it with all the filler they add and all this stuff. Uh, Jesus Christ, I rambled on a lot after I did my outro. I'm going to end the video with that. See you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.